Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. My partner John Coleman and I are happy to see you. Hope you're happy to see us. And uh, <laughs> John, you just did something special that I haven't done since the last two years. You've taken your second airplane trip. Yes. Uh, about a year ago and now uh, cross country. Uh, yeah, not quite a year ago, six months ago. Yeah. And uh, yeah, cross country. Well, we're in, we're in California. Almost anywhere you go is cross country. <laughs> so has anything changed? Um, yes, since I think my last airplane trip was uh, back to uh, New York um, in, well, five, about five months ago, almost six mm. months ago. And yes, things have changed. That What hasn't changed is the airport. The airport is still mask only, still, um, you know, all the rules apply that did apply. Uh, Got to keep your mask on while you're in the plane, and uh, which I think is probably the most important part, you know, because everybody's breathing the same recycled air. Um, but the airports, but what has changed is outside of uh, the airport, uh, things are much more uh, voluntary. I don't know what the right word is. Of course, we've reached the point in the pandemic when most states are no longer requiring masks. They're not. You mean like in, 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 the... rest, in restaurants or in uh, cabs and things like that? Exactly. Exactly. California is one of the last holdouts. We're still, uh, you know, or have been up until now. It's still having all these requirements. Right mandatory stuff. But um, I went to South Carolina, North Carolina and South Carolina, and there it's it's kind of like, um, I, I, the right word is vo voluntary, I guess, because some people are wearing masks, they choose to, and it's not a big deal. And most people are not. I would say, if I had to kind of characterize it, I would say about uh, maybe 15 to 20 percent of the people that I saw either on the street or in a restaurant or anywhere uh, wore a mask, and uh, they're not wearing masks on the outs on the walk, you know, walking down the sidewalk, which, which makes sense. They are wearing the masks in in restaurants, you know. So in other words, they're not you're places. not seeing uh, as we did maybe a year ago with people having uh, bullets shooting out of their eyes at somebody who was. If you were wearing a mask, you you looked askance at the other people who weren't. Right. Or the other way around. No dirty right looks, no dirty it's more comments. civil. Yeah. More civil. Yeah, uh, it was. You know what? It's a. Uh, it's. I think it's the the right way. Some people are more concerned than others. You know, at our age, we're we're the target group for COVID. Um, uh, we're the high risk group, and so you know, of course, people our age should should wear a mask. You don't have to if you don't want to in uh, in these other states. But it makes more sense for us to be wearing masks than my my children or my grandchildren, you know. Right. Anyway, uh, that's the big change. The other thing is that um, uh, it's March. Uh, it, when I w we're recording this now in March, and we took the trip in March, and um, the weather was mm. gorgeous. You know, we've had, which I found to be kind of surprising, we had a real hot spell. We had kind of a little cold spell. We had a little bit of rain. I go back to South Carolina, where you expect it to be rainy and you expect it to be, you know, windy or I don't know, hurricane season. Some it was fabulous weather, wow. just fabulous. And of course, it's the South. Everybody's really nice, really friendly, um, y'all. <laughs> but the best part, the best part of the trip, and and the reason I took the trip is to see relatives. And, um, you know, it's, it's wonderful. We, we've got a relatively big family. We're, we're at our age, we're discovering new cousins, if you can mm. believe it or not. So it's one, it's expanding and, uh, it's wonderful to not only make the acquaintance of cousins we didn't know we had, but it's also wonderful to get back in touch. It's like yesterday, 10 years, but it feels like yesterday. And we all, you know, sat down and had a lot of laughs, a lot of stories over dinner. And I traveled with my two daughters and my granddaughter. So it's wonderful. They had met these relatives, but it's wonderful to everybody share the 
various generations. And I particularly, particularly liked meeting, uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the grandchild generation of my cousins. Hmm. My, my cousins are grandparents too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so it was just fabulous. And it's great to see other generations uh, making that same connection. Well, that's great. So actually, uh, we'll probably, uh, uh, after we uh, 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 do another vlog on the third, fourth, or fifth time of us uh, 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 digitizing old eight and super eight uh, millimeter film, we may find some more cousins in there. But getting back for a moment to your trip, <laughs> uh, I uh, understand you also uh, went to an arena of some sort. Was that indoor or outdoor? And oh, only... it was an it was an equestrian event. My daughter, my granddaughter, is on the South Carolina University of South Carolina mm -hmm. equestrian team, and they were having a competition in Charleston, where I happen to have relatives. So oh. that's where the event was an outdoor arena. It's not oh, it's uh, outdoor, so it, it may nobody, not have been. No masking. Had... It's like I, I go to little league games now and things like that, and nobody wears a mask outside yeah. uh, anymore. No, uh, seniors or at risk, seemingly at risk people. It just seems that, that in the outdoor air, a lot of people are getting used to not wearing masks. Well, yeah, and it's, and it, you know, the more here it is two years later, and we're learning more about the disease itself. We're also learning more about what the government told us, and so there's you know all that discussion about d did we get the facts, and uh, we could discuss that. But quite frankly, outdoors. You know, really, you, the mask doesn't. We're all outdoors. You, it's it's an indoor problem, right. not an outdoor problem. Okay, so so, um, so you found that this the well the airports and that tra transportation is about the same with masks and the way people uh, treat COVID. Uh, that yeah. the rest of it has uh, somewhat returning to normal, not return to normal, but returning to something more normal and less obtrusive. Oh yeah, and and it, it you know it's really it's almost who cares because if you want to wear a mask, God bless you, wear the mask. If you don't, and it the rest of it is um, the rest of the precautions that w were imposed upon everybody are still you know sensible precautions that you can take. It's the mandatory thing that uh, that I think was wrong in the first place my opinion, but uh, it's also what's changed is, you know, life is you've got options and uh, we all know that there's a bad disease in the air somewhere and it's going to mutate again and who knows what's going to happen. Um, I think I told you this one time before, I had an uncle who died in 1920s, 19, young man, 17, 16, 17 years old, died of the Spanish flu. Um, so, you know, this stuff happens. It's good. This is almost a century later that we're going through a similar pandemic um, with a different strain of flu, I guess. Yeah, so, well, I guess a, a future vlog is going to have to be then about uh, our roaring 20s. Uh, and does that repeat itself uh, yeah, uh, after yeah. this? Anyway, so wonderful. You had another great trip. Uh, a great trip, and I quite frankly, I recommend that we that everybody, you know, get back out. Um, you can you be sensible, but get get back out. Don't limit your life uh, because of the pandemic and all of the mandatory rules and stuff. You know, they were well-meaning, and they they the idea was to help everybody. I'm not sure they they accomplished that. You could argue that, but but the point is now you can get out. Get out enjoy life, and travel. Tra travel by car, travel by plane. Um, it's not that, the, the inconveniences of the mandatory masking, it's not that bad. You know, and I flew, whatever it is, six hours across the country, five hours in a plane doing it. So you can do it. And by the way, all the airplanes were full. There was not an empty seat on any flight. So... Uh, you know, I, I may be preaching to the choir when I say get out and <laughs> travel. Great. Well, I think uh, it's very encouraging. And uh, thank you for our, our man on the scene, John Coleman, <laughs> yeah. uh, traveling cross country 
for the third time in two years, because I know that you did you yes. did a Carolina trip, then you did a New York trip, and then yep. you just did a Carolina trip. Yep. And um, uh, we'll we'll tease people by saying that uh, John will uh, be taking another trip. And uh, that's right. I'm tell us all the details. Yeah. Yes, I'll see you in a, uh, actually in a week or two. Right, we have a lunch date. Yes, we do. We do. Great. Anyway, uh, everybody. Enjoy life. That's the that's the big message. And uh, and uh, by the way, get something to eat before you get on the plane because they're not coached. They're not serving anything. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.